I think when it comes to dating, guys are often looking for the perfect thing to say to a girl and completely miss out on the importance of body language. And being able to read how a person feels is really key in developing a successful social relationship. So I want to go through the three-stage body language checklist that you can use on your own. Of course, stage one is the first encounter, and the first way someone will show interest is usually eye contact, and a few things can happen afterwards. A shy girl might look flustered and look away quickly, while a confident girl will hold eye contact and smile or maybe even wink. And the best course of action here is to live off that high for the rest of the week. After that, you have to watch out for proximity. Uh, once someone knows about you and likes you, they'll try to be around you as much as possible. This might sound kind of creepy, but it's pretty normal, and particularly guys are notorious for doing this. One of the best ways to make sure you're being romantic instead of creepy is to be above a 7. Now, at this point, hopefully you've gathered that there might be some chemistry and you guys have started chatting a little bit. This is stage 2, building rapport, and it's where most dating takes place. Uh, you want to pay attention to any subtle physical contact. A good indicator of interest during conversation is if the girl touches you lightly on the arm or dick to emphasize a point. You might occasionally meet someone who likes to break the physical touch barrier with a high five. It would be hard to tell if she's doing it to congratulate you or because she wants to touch your hand, so I like to remove ambiguity by making sure all my accomplishments are particularly underwhelming. Uh, along with that, you want to pay attention to her posture. Uh, people tend to cover their wrists and neck when they're uncomfortable, so if she is comfortable being around you, she might let her hands rest on the table or show more of her neck by tilting her head to the side. Keep in mind it could just be Lou Gehrig's. Okay, so this one you can experiment with. Uh, if someone wants to feel closer to you, they'll try to remove any barriers, like a cup or bag, from between your personal spaces. Uh, sometimes if I feel a girl thinks I'm alright, I'll try to see what she does if I put something between us that stops her from talking to me. I usually just use my personality or stay at home. But you can also build a menu for it and say you make YouTube videos. And uh, of course she can make more obvious gestures, like licking or biting her lip. That's pretty hot. So if all the boxes are checked so far, hopefully you're thinking, hey, we're having a great conversation, lots of laughing, physical contact, everything is going well, and you're ready for stage three, fucking it up. Uh, really, this stage is pretty intuitive, but can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 or 15 years, so remember to be patient. A few of the more common signs are you've seen them recently, but they haven't seen you, uh, they have a kid and it isn't yours. They have a kid and it is yours, and sometimes just not realizing anything is wrong at all. At any rate, don't stress everything on the checklist. Uh, it can all really be boiled down to just be yourself. So their pupils will dilate if they're interested in what they see, but it can be kind of hard to tell they have dark eyes, so take out your flashlight. 